What do you think? Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? All of this glorious widescreen footage you're watching was created with this. The 1.55 times anamorphic lens from Uzki Vision, which stands for Unleash Your Vision. Apparently, I, I don't know. Anyway, with its matte black aluminium alloy construction and boxy shape, Uzki Vision's offering is very good looking and looks both futuristic and retro at the same time. But it's not simply style over substance as you'll see. But first, let's get the useful but boring stuff out of the way so we can move on to the cool stuff. The lens costs £79, which isn't cheap for a smartphone lens per se, but it is one of the cheapest of its kind. It feels solid and well made. It comes in a compartmentalised hard case to keep it safe. It comes with a clip, which is also solid, well made and fits a variety of phones. Check the Amazon listing to see if your phone is compatible, don't ask me. And it comes with a cleaning cloth for cleaning your glasses. And that's the boring stuff, now let's move on to the cool anamorphic stuff. First, as you can see, it's rather wide, but is it as wide? as advertised. A 1.55 times anamorphic lens like this should squeeze your phone from 178 to 276. But when it's made by a company who I've not heard of and with a price tag that puts it at the budget end of the market, my expectations for this lens were very low. I didn't even expect it to deliver 276, let alone be good at anything else. But it does deliver 276 and it's good at other stuff too. Like the long blue flares anamorphic lenses are famous for, but I'm sorry to say I don't really have many great examples because you need to shoot into like a harsh light source like the sun or around a harsh light source at least. And all this week, the weather has been like this. So these are the best examples that I can do. The lens also does something that some people don't like anamorphic lenses for, and that is distort by curving the horizontal plane. But this isn't a fault of Uzki Vision's lens. This is characteristic of all anamorphic lenses. And I've seen some people get really hung up on trying to prevent or avoid or fix this distortion in post. But me, I just embrace it. Especially after I saw the distortion caused by the anamorphic lenses used to film one of my favorite films, Captain America, The Winter Soldier. And hey, if it's good enough for Cap, then wrong arm. <laughs> if it's good enough for Cap, then it's good enough for me. Something else Uzki Vision's lens does really well is maintain an excellent level of image quality. When you place extra glass over your phone's lens, you will block out some light and degrade image quality. And this lens is no different, but it's hardly noticeable, especially in good light. At the budget end of the 1.55 anamorphic market, I really wasn't expecting the image quality to be this good. And while it does soften the image slightly, it's not to an unacceptable level at all. And in fact, it actually tones down that overly sharpened iPhone look. And you can always apply a little sharpening in post if you like. But because video doesn't use the full image sensor, it can often hide a lens's edge softness and other artifacts. So taking photos is truly the way to test a lens's performance. This time lapse was taken with the full resolution of the sensor, and it's here you'd really expect some softness to show. And while there is some softening at the edges, I wouldn't say this was unacceptable or even particularly noticeable to the average viewer at all. Something else barely noticeable is the slightly warm colour cast. After two days of filming, I honestly hadn't noticed until I started to compare footage with and without the lens. So it's not a big deal and you can easily correct it or compensate for it by shooting with your white balance a little bit colder than you normally would. Now you might have noticed that I've not been using that clip I mentioned before and that's because it's rubbish, like all clips. Yes, it attaches the lens to the phone, but clips are fiddly. They block your screen and you often have to take your phone out of its case 
to use them. Instead, I prefer to use Husky Vision's dedicated case. With its polycarbonate and aluminium construction, the case not only looks good and protects your phone, but it also removes the cumbersome attachment process and ensures the lens is secure and perfectly aligned every single time. The case will set you back an extra £22, but if you're a serious iPhone filmmaker and you plan on using these 17mm mount lenses a lot, then it's well worth it and I highly recommend it. Recommend it. Speaking of other lenses, you may have noticed how this one from Uski Vision, the one that I've been talking about, looks exactly the same as this 1.33 from Ulanzi. And when I say exactly, I mean exactly. Now, Uski Vision and Ulanzi are both based in the same district of China. And by the looks of it, they've used the same manufacturer, which isn't uncommon to see across a range of goods and brands. But there is one key important difference between the two, and that is the looseness of the rotation mechanism. You see, one of the main criticisms of this Ulanzi lens was how easily it could twist out of alignment. So thankfully, Uski Vision's lens, while still smooth, is much firmer and requires a lot more force to rotate it, which is good. It means you don't have to constantly check and re-level your lens while you're filming. I'm also mentioning this similarity because I've had the Ulanzi lens a lot longer, so it could give me a good indication of how Uski Vision Vision's lens is going to perform long term and after almost a year I'm pleased to say that Ulanzi's lens is still going strong and there's no reason whatsoever to expect anything different from Uski Vision's lens. Now I can't offer any insight into how Uski Vision's anamorphic lens compares to the more expensive brands like Beast Grip, Sandmark and Moment because I don't have any of those lenses. I'm just one guy filming himself in a box room and this is my full-time thing. I don't get hundreds of thousands of views. I don't have any sponsors. So I can't afford to just splash out on these lenses that often cost close to 200 pounds. Uh, I'm not apologizing for that, by the way, it's, it is what it is. So if you want to help me get into the position where I can, then there are a few simple things that you can do. If you like the lens that I've been talking about today, then you can purchase it using my affiliate link, which is in the description, and it won't cost you anything extra. Uh, you can also watch until this point in the video, which you have done, so thank you very much. And you can also comment and like, it really helps me out a lot. Cool. So then for the price of £79 and for what you get for your money, I really don't have any complaints about Uski Vision's 1.55 anamorphic lens. I really think it's a brilliant bit of kit and the case is really good as well. It honestly hasn't come off my phone since the day I got it. And while 276 might be a little bit too extreme of an aspect ratio for some, I personally love how it looks. It really makes my footage stand out and people often don't believe me when I tell them that this B-roll was shot with a phone. So thanks for watching, stay curious and David out. A lot longer, so it could give me an indication of how Uski lenses lens is Uski lenses lens. What does that even mean? Uski vision. Have I been calling it Uski lens all this time? I better not have been calling it Uski lens all this time, for God's sake. It's okay, I'm probably mispronouncing it anyway. <laughs> how else would you pronounce it? US key vision? Us, us, us key I'm from the north, I pronounce us properly. Rule Britannia. While 276 might be a little bit too extreme of an aspect ratio for some, I personally love how it looks. I love the fact that it was shot on a phone, yet the final result really stands out and it doesn't look like it was shot on a phone. And when I show my footage to people, they often don't believe that it was shot on a phone. <laughs> Did I mention this footage was shot on a phone? <laughs>